I'm reaching. <laughs> When I say the words cable car, what do you automatically think of? Cable cars! Me too! Today, we're soaring, flying through the Singapore skyline to review the logistics of having a meal in the sky, find out how cable cars are maintained, and ask the chef some hard-hitting questions. So they say, right, usually, when you fly in an airplane, the airplane food is like more salty or more sweet, yeah. and this is quite high up. Yeah. So is that true for your team? No, actually, we are not so high. <laughs> We're not in the of aeroplane. Eh, we can't all be winners. And show you what it'll be like to go skydining with Kim. That's me. We need quick. We need five now. And the alfalfa just flew into my lap. Oh, this plate of beef I would like to share with you guys, the people I have beef with. The pier? The pier. Nicki Minaj for the song Super Beast. Too catchy, always with it. My <laughs> causing grievous hurt to people but then pretending it didn't happen. <laughs> My friends from abandoning me when I turn into a weed. I'm <laughs> getting too real. The cable cars are attached to the cables which then moves everyone along the line instead of what I thought was the cable cars itself were moving along the... Let's... Sh we should speak to an actual professional. This cabin got a grip, it's a mechanical grip into the rope. It's a rope running. It's not the cabin moving. So when I was younger, uh, my dad would like try to shake the cab like cable car cabin when we were all inside. Is that safe? Uh, but advisable that you just sit down, enjoy our 360 view, you have a good view. Okay, it's not advisable. Dad, stop <laughs> doing it. So how is cooking for people eating on land different from cooking for people who are eating in the sky? Normally in sky dining, we do something straightforward. Braise or those deep fried items is easy to pick up and also can pick up in time. Sometimes we do beef but have to control very well because some people ask for donuts or this. And if the timing and the the speed different than the the the, the, the dinners is will be different. So it was like steak and then they order medium. By the time they reach me, me my yeah, yeah, right, right. medium well. Yeah, okay, okay. So we also avoid all this. We when we plan the menu, we have to think of the easy to handle when when they're in the dining in the cabin. So like the fish, we are never use a fillet. We don't use a whole fish. It's more easy for them to eat. Oh, I see. Yeah. So they don't have to like fiddle with yeah, forks and like knives. fighting on the sky. <laughs> yeah. Finishing touches are put on the dish at the finishing kitchen right next to the cable car boarding area before the staff bring it to the guests. So coordination is key here. Must be communication very well with the service staff. Normally with walkie-talkie. So how many cabin away, then he signal us, then we stand by and we dish out to make sure that our food is hot and in time inside the cabin. When fully booked, the team services 60 cable car sky dining cabins in two and a half hours. That's 60 more cabins than I have ever serviced. I think the fastest speed that we have coordinate to, to, to serve our guests. <laughs> Bless you, is 10 seconds. But usually the crew only has 14 seconds to execute any service needed. Accuracy of 100% is the requirement for sky dining service. You don't have time to rework or to miss anything. This 14 second countdown means it gets stressful. Especially if like producers at a media company before a live show, there come last minute requests. On one of the busy Saturday, I think we have about 20 cabins on the line. Suddenly the guests just pop up from the cabin, approach me and tell me, please put this ring in the dessert. After that, I did approach the guest and he was you know, blushing in red to say that, look, I can't even dare to, to give this ring as a proposal. That's the reason why we asked you to put oh. in the dessert. I don't know this song, but can change? I don't even know what part of the song is this. Oh. When it 
comes to frontline service operations, a team of 30 flight hosts are trained to provide quality service and maintain the cleanliness of the cable cars. Isn't that scary? Because people are looking, I cannot. <laughs> okay, everybody everybody so turn away. Has anyone peed inside a train ca uh, ca ca cable car? Cable car. Yes, we do have. It's actually kids. Okay. Yeah, so for adults, they know, oh, I need to pee, means I have to go first before I take the cable car. But for kids, they do not know how long they have to actually be in the cabin, so they cannot tahan, no pampers, right? Uh, so they actually pee. No, so we will make sure God. we block off this cabin, so we will actually put a side yeah. so that other stations will also know, oh, okay, so this cabin is the one that we cannot take because they are still cleaning. We will clean it, we will make sure we sterilize, uh, we sterilize it so that we can actually receive other guests. Oh, this song. It's Ferrero Rocher. It's Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> Ferrero. So essentially, the history of the handlebar is that when the dandy horse was first, oh, history of the cable car. Oh yeah, I don't know that. 以前还没有缆车的时候，就是我们就要坐船过来的，就是坐船过来。来回也是抓船，但不方便。六十多年尾声的时候，新加坡在进行大发展。吴清瑞要发展神都沙，成为一个旅游业，所以他就带进了这个缆车。在一九七十九年的时候，夏威夷发布的队伍来这边拍戏，利用我们的缆车。我也是在场，跟他们做就是 c a l i f a c e 所以上过镜了。啊，因为在后面了，没有看到了， oh. 就是发出一点声音啊。哦、oh. And that was our behind the scenes tour of the cable cars. Thanks for watching the back end show. This is the subscribe button. This is a playlist of our previous videos. These are the credits. This is my Instagram. This is a picture of a prawn. This is a picture of two prawns. <laughs>